All right, Echo here. We're going to take a look at the new map, Airstrip, and uh, we're going to look at some fun modifiers here. I have one just called Fun, where I just uh, made some uh, fun adjustments, so I'll, I'll show you here. It's for AI. We have 10% uh, health, 10% uh, weapon damage. Uh, for Fire Team, we're not worried about because we're playing Predator right now. But for Predator, we, we're going to do 1,000 health, like so. Uh, we'll do 1,000 for Biomask. Do 500 <clears throat> for movement speed. Jump height, let's do. Last time we did like 300, we'll do like 600 this time. Or 700. Oh, wait, what's the height? Highest? 500? Air control. How high can we go with that? Do 1,000. <clears throat> okay. Allow leaping, yes. Allow scanning, yes. All that's good, yes. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we've got our jump height pretty high. <laughs> 500 at max. <clears throat> that's good, though. That shows us the map. It shows us what we can look at. And if we take a little stroll, we'll start right here with the airstrip. The titular airstrip. So it goes all the way back here. And then your barrier is right here. They did a good job with um, making the, um, you know, the background, uh, the backdrop look actually pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with how that looks. Probably pretty good for pictures too. <laughs> Let me get a picture. Click, click. <laughs> Here we go. And we've got some little uh, trailers here. Pretty standard stuff. Pretty standard uh, PHG assets <clears throat> and then go down the airfield here see I don't understand the running speed isn't carrying over whenever I set it um, in the modifiers I set it at a very very high percentage it's not any different the only thing that's different really is um, jump So that's really the only different thing. Of course, my armor and <laughs> my health and my damage, of course, is at a thousand. I like how the uh, audio gets quieter when you uh, the higher you go. Let's do a little cool uh, Hollywood moment here. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. So back here, we've got a little hanger, a small little hanger. Be a good hiding spot for uh, fire team actually, if uh, need be. And if we go here, it's got a little staircase there, uh, alarm here. Little hanger. This is actually very accurate to how hangers look. Growing up, my dad had his pilot's license and he had a little Cessna uh, plane, and um, the hangers do look exactly like this with the little loft up here for like an office. You know, where they would look at the weather and, and all that kind of stuff before they you know, left. Um, so that's pretty neat, very detailed. I like that. Go over here, another little hanger. Let's 
same kind of setup. And you know this, this map really reminds me of excavation meets um, kind of like backwater almost in a lot of ways. Coolest thing though, guys, is that you can actually go inside the plane. So you can fit this big predator all the way in here. Gotta destroy the health. Gotta do it. Right, let's, let's keep going here. So we're at the uh, south end of the map, kind of. We can go all the way south, and if we want, we'll go back even further. A little uh, compound here. Go ahead, shoot me. <laughs> oh, you know what I should have done? Is set the gravity on, um, you know, low gravity with the high jump. Alright, so we're at the very south end of the map. Little tower up there for a sniper tower. Right there. If we keep going, we're gonna go to the eastern part of the map. Got the plane there. Got the hangers we just saw. Dispose of those guys very quickly. And officially. <laughs> so the next area, this little area here, which I'm guessing is going to be a exfil point. I mean, this is obviously got to be an exfil point. It's the way it's set up. The next area of the map with actual buildings and things, a little further down here. this little area this is like a little um, it's like a power all the electricity uh, a little compound here very similar <laughs> almost exactly to the the layout we had in the other uh, map uh, backwater I believe by the satellite Uh, some trailers up here. Pretty uh, standard stuff. Big uh, radio tower there. And that's really the... that side of the map. That's all that there is really. Keep going. Some creeks there. A little waterfall. Make for a good picture moment. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> so we'll keep going. There's a one little itty bitty place we can look at. Right down here. In the, kind of in the middle of the map almost. Right here. It's kind of like a little sniper spot. And it kind of overlooks the um, the hangar area, so it's a good sniper spot there. Now, if we go to the last part of the map, which is the um, northwest <coughs> section of the map. It's kind of their farming operation, essentially. Uh, 
don't know if it's for, for drugs or if it's for uh, a legitimate plant service, but uh, the bricks that were in the plane certainly look suspicious, I'll say that. <laughs> so they've got little tents uh, with plants and things that are growing. A little cement maker there, it looks like. I don't know why they have that. <laughs> Maybe these are all just like drug equipment. I just don't know what they are. <laughs> A little house over here. I always thought this was kind of odd back here when I first looked at the map. But that's the house. This is like some fruits and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Grapes? It's kind of a little pasture up here. So, you know, as far as if I like the map or not, I'm really going to reserve my judgment until um, I've got a chance to play it a lot, you know, in-game and, and with, uh, you know, full fire team and, and Pred and all that kind of stuff. Um, because my first impression is that it's a map is totally fine, um, but it just doesn't do a lot different. But that's, you know, I understand Ilphonic, they're, all their assets are tied into uh, jungle-themed stuff. Because they they based their game off the first Predator film, basically, aesthetically, anyways. And so it would it would be very difficult for any developer, you know, you know. I know people have been wanting a city map, you know, kind of like a concrete jungle uh, Predator Two style map, and I get that. But all of Ilphonic's uh, assets are tied up in jungle themed, you know, trees and leaves and. Um, you know, pastures and, 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 and ground, you know, um, you know, all, all of that kind of stuff, you know, um, trucks and, you know, all of that. And, and when you think about a city and the assets that they would need for that, you're thinking about, you know, street poles and street signs and roads and cars and buildings and, you know, all kinds of things they would have to make. And, and uh, that would be essentially like them making a whole new game. And so I think they did a good job at spending the resources of what they have on a new map. It doesn't do a whole lot different, but it is a perfectly functional map that has some good hiding spots. It's a little flat. It's not very, um, doesn't seem very vertical, not a lot of verticality. But uh, yeah, it's it's an, it's more variety. So where's yet? Yeah. Well, uh, area here for more plants. <laughs> There you have it, folks. That is the new map. That is essentially the, um, the layout, lay of the land. Go back over here to the uh, plane. <laughs> and uh, remember, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, um, check out the Twitch, which will be in the link below, and uh, check out the Twitter account, of course, which is where I post all my content, uh, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's well, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on whatever it's on, I will post a link on twi on uh, Twitter. So definitely follow me on Twitter. That is at umbrella underscore ops. Again, that's at umbrella underscore ops. Uh, you can find that in the link below uh, very, very quickly there. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you got a good idea of what the map looks like and uh, and an idea of uh, maybe how you can use it to your tactical advantage. Uh, I might make a separate video about tactical advantage in the map, but I have yet to play the map a lot uh, yet in matches. So uh, once I do that and get some experience with the map, then I will make that video. So. Thank you guys so much. Remember, guys, if you're part of the Echo family, you are family. We'll see you next time.